Today we are going to talk about Old English Sheepdog. The first thing anyone notice about the Old English Sheepdog is its wild, fluffy coat. Its coat is hard and textured. It is also waterproof. Although it comes in several colors, the hair is usually gray and white. The Old English Sheepdog is a strong, large dog. It is very muscular. Some grow to be over 100 pounds, 45 kilograms. Old English Sheepdog First developed in Western England, the Old English Sheepdog originated about 150 years ago. A loving house dog, the Old English Sheepdog is intelligent, even tempered and equally at home in an apartment or large house. An athletic dog with clownish energy, he requires regular exercise or a job. His beautiful, profuse coat requires regular grooming. Did you know? Prince Eric's companion, Max, in Disney's The Little Mermaid, is an Old English Sheepdog. Old English Sheepdogs have been featured in several Jim Henson creations, including the popular television show for preschoolers, Sesame Street, the 1986 fantasy film, Labyrinth, and the television series, Fraggle Rock. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt owned an Old English Sheepdog named, Tiny. Also known as, Shepherd's Dog, Bob-tailed Sheepdog. The need to know. Dogs suitable for experienced owners. Some training required. Enjoys active walks. Enjoys walking one to two hours a day. Large dog. Some drool. Requires grooming daily. Non-hypoallergenic breed. Chatty and vocal dog. Guard dog. Barks and alerts. May require training to live with other pets. May require training to live with kids. Key facts. Lifespan. 10 to 12 years weight. 27 minus 45 kg height. 51 to 61 cm colors. Any shade of gray, grizzle, or blue with or without white markings size. Large kennel club group. Pastoral. Personality. Old English sheepdogs are cheerful extroverts and are popular family companions. They are known for being intelligent, loving, watchful, faithful and protective. They are fearless and make excellent watch dogs, especially with their resonant bark. They can be overly boisterous however and need plenty of exercise, training and grooming. History and origins. Country of origin, England. Despite their name, the Old English Sheepdog isn't that old and wasn't historically a sheepdog. They were mostly used as drovers' dogs, employed to help move cattle and any work they did with the sheep was purely part-time. They were created in the late 18th century by crossing existing drovers' dogs with the bearded collie and possibly also some of the European breeds such as the Bergamasco. They were often known as bobtails because they were traditionally docked as a tax avoidance scheme. Working drovers' dogs were exempt from taxes and so they were marked and disabled in this way, whereas true sheepdogs needed their long tails to help with their complex and athletic sideways movements. The Old English Sheepdog also helped with guarding duties and even sometimes worked as hunting retrievers. They would be shorn with the sheep every year and their wool used in clothing. Today however they are almost exclusively companions and show dogs. Did you know? The Old English Sheepdog will probably forever be known as the Dulux Dog, although having one around while you're trying to paint your house is probably a recipe for disaster. At one time the Old English Sheepdog was a status symbol within the American industrial period and the five richest families in the world, the Vanderbilts, the Guggenheims, the Morgans, the Golds and the Harrisons all owned Old English Sheepdogs as did many of the film stars of the day. Paul McCartney owned an Old English Sheepdog called Martha who lived in the Mull of Kintyre and whose puppy appeared on one of his album covers. Their coat is insulating and waterproof so it keeps them warm during cold, wet winters and warm summers. Old English Sheepdogs have won Best in Show at Westminster twice, once in 1914 and then again 1975.